Hi there, my name is Sarah Durbin and I am the Head of Photography and Digital Archiving for NUIG's DRAMSOC. Um, this role is only two years old and I have occupied it for the previous two years, so I would love to see someone else take this role on. Um, it's a great role to the society and it can really be a benefit for you as well. So what it entails basically is taking photos and editing those photos. Uh, these could be uh, rehearsals or um, events and then you'll archive them both digitally and offline uh, so I used a system of, of archiving um, photos and documents on our online database and then using hard drives to back up um, that content and you'll also be doing video production and editing so you create promo videos for for the society as well and maybe a few graphics um so the role is very creative um you have a, a really great role in the society um as you're kind of on the production side of things rather than the admin so you've a lot of freedom there and it's it's very behind the scenes so you'll help out the pr team a lot with content creation creating the promo vids sending them on to them and then they um project them out on the social channels um so if you're a creative person, if you're organized as well, archiving takes a lot of organization. There's a lot of content that needs to be organized in files, backed up and ensured it's not lost. Um, so there's a lot in that. And basically you work with almost every director for every production to ensure that uh, they are aware that you're there to create any content that they want to market for their plays. Um, so yeah, it's a great role. Um, I, if you have any concerns about equipment and experience, I didn't have any experience with photography before I took this on. I did with filmmaking and film editing and you, you do this, a lot of that within this role. So that's why I wanted to do it, but no photography experience. So, um, I had to learn as I went and I did, and it, it was a, a great experience. A lot of my work now is photography. So um, it, it's, it's an unreal experience. And if you're thinking of working in this industry, either digital media, digital marketing or content creation, this is the best place to start. You'll essentially be able to build a portfolio um, for yourself and also build um, a database and um, content and memories for the society as well. So I used a lot of that for my own personal portfolio and that essentially got me jobs this year. Um, a lot of people would see that content and reach out to me um, and ask me to work on their projects. So if you're thinking about um, being a freelancer or going into that industry, it's a really, really great place to start. Um, aside from that, you'll do the regular committee activities like going to meetings and um, helping with front of house and auditions and um, and all that jazz and going to events and that. So, uh, and again, with the equipment, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, I had a little bridge camera, a bridge Sony camera. Honestly, um, that is not as good quality as, as your average iPhone now, last year. Um, and that's all I had, so I used that. And then I, I'd edit them um, uh, afterwards. So they, they turned out still pretty decent. Um, I've invested further in equipment personally myself this year, but the the college has a lot of equipment. I actually wasn't aware of this, um, that you can use, and they also have a lot of software, um, and editing suites available around campus. So if you're worried about equipment, um, or experience, don't let that hold you back. This is the place where you you start, and this is the place where you build that experience and get a feel for the equipment within the industry. So just generally, if you're interested in digital artistry, photography, video creation, um, uh, digital media or marketing, this is, is a really, really great place to start. Um, I'd love to see this role filled next year. And if you have any further questions about it, please feel free to reach out to me either on Facebook or wherever.